In this equation, we are trying to figure out what the value of r must be in order to make this equation a true statement. To solve for r, we first must simplify the left-hand side of the equation using the distributive property and then isolate the variable r. Using the distributive property, we are going to multiply negative 8 times r, which is negative 8r. Next, we multiply negative 8 times negative 3. Although inside the parentheses it says minus 3, let's consider that 3 a negative. A negative times a negative is a positive, so negative 8 times negative 3 is positive 24. So we simply write plus 24 below and then bring down r equals 40. Now that we have simplified our equation, we can isolate the variable r. On the left hand side of our equation, we are multiplying r by negative 8 and we are also adding 24. We have to isolate the variable by getting rid of that times negative 8 and also getting rid of the plus 24. When isolating variables, to figure out what numbers you get rid of first and send to the other side of the equal sign, you must follow the order of operations in reverse. So you have to deal with any addition or subtraction first before dealing with any multiplication or division. So in this case, we have to get rid of the plus 24 on the left-hand side of the equation and move it to the other side of the equation by doing the opposite operation. And of course, the opposite of adding 24 is subtracting 24. To balance our equation, we also write minus 24 on the other side of the equal sign. And 40 take away 24 is 16. Because we canceled out the opposite integers, positive and negative 24, that leaves us with negative 8 times r on the left hand side of our equation. Because our goal is to end up with positive 1r, we have to figure out how to change that negative 8 into positive 1. To change any number into positive 1, you can simply divide that number by itself. So on the left hand side, we are going to divide negative 8 by negative 8, which will give us positive 1 or positive 1r. And on the right hand side, we are going to divide positive 16 by negative 8 because what you do to one side of your equal sign, you must balance your equation and do the same thing to the other side of the equation. 16 divided by negative 8 is negative 2. Whenever dividing a positive by a negative, you will always end up with a negative quotient. Now that we have an answer r equals negative 2, let's substitute that value in for r in the original equation to check our answer. After we substitute negative 2 in for r, we must solve the left hand side of our equation to see if it equals 40. Inside parentheses, we have negative 2 minus 3, which gives us negative 5. Next, we multiply negative 5 times negative 8, which gives us positive 40. When multiplying two negatives, the product will always be positive, and positive 40 is equal to positive 40. So after substituting negative 2 into the original equation, we do indeed come up with a true statement. Because we came up with the same value on the left hand side of our equal sign as we did on the right hand side of our equal sign and it is a true statement, negative 2 must be the correct answer for this particular problem.